Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raised the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, <laughs> You bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. By the power of the Holy Spirit, we pray, Almighty God, make us docile in believing the faith and courageous in professing it, just as you granted St. Sixtus and his companions that they might lay down their lives for the sake of your word and in witness to Jesus, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. The children of Israel lamented, Would that we had meat for food. We remember the fish we used to eat without cost in Egypt, and the cucumbers and melons and leeks, the onions and the garlic. But now we are famished. We see nothing before us but this manna. Manna was like coriander seed and had the color of resin. When they had gone about and gathered it up, people would grind it between millstones or pound it in a mortar, then cook it in a pot and make it into loaves, which tasted like cakes made with oil. At night, when the dew fell upon the camp, the manna also fell. When Moses heard the people, family after family, crying at the entrance of their tents, so that the Lord became very angry, he was grieved. Why do you treat your servant so badly? Moses said to the Lord. Why are you so displeased with me that you burdened me with this people? Was it I who conceived all this people? 
Or was it I who gave them birth, that you tell me to carry them at my bosom, like a foster father carrying an infant to the land you have promised under oath to their fathers? Where can I get meat to give to all these people? For they're crying out to me, give us meat for our food. I cannot carry all these people by myself, for they are too heavy for me. If this is the way you will deal with me, then please do me the favor of killing me at once, so that I need no longer face this distress. The word of the Lord. Sing with joy to God our help. Sing with joy to God our help. My people heard not my voice, and Israel obeyed me not. So I gave them up to the hardness of their hearts. They walked according to their own counsels. Sing with joy to God our help. If only my people would hear me, and Israel walk in my ways. Quickly would I humble their enemies against their foes, I would turn my hand. Sing with joy to God our help. Those who hated the Lord would seek to flatter me, but their fate would endure forever. While Israel, I would feed with the best of wheat, and with honey from the rock, I would fill them. Sing with joy to God our help. The Lord be with you. And your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. When Jesus heard of the death of John the Baptist, he withdrew in a boat to a deserted place by himself. The crowds heard of this and followed him on foot from their towns. When he disembarked and saw the vast crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them, and he cured their sick. When it was evening, the disciples approached him and said, This is a deserted place, and it is already late. Dismiss the crowd so they can go to the villages and buy food for themselves. He said to them, There is no need for them to go away. Give them some food yourselves. But they said to him, Five loaves and two fish are all we have here. Then he said, Bring them here to me. And he ordered the crowds to sit down on the grass. Taking the five loaves and two fish and looking up to heaven, he said the blessing, broke the loaves, and gave them to the disciples, who in turn gave them to the crowds. They all ate and were satisfied, and they picked up the fragments left over, twelve wicker baskets full. Those who ate were about five thousand men, not counting women and children. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We have in our readings today two examples of God providing for his people. One, they accept it, and one, they grumble. We see in the um, Old Testament reading that Moses is complaining to God because these people that God has placed in his life to lead are not being cooperative. And they are complaining because they have nothing to eat and they have this manna, like bread in the desert, but they want meat. And they seem to be unsatisfied with what God has given them. In the Gospel, we see where Jesus is teaching, crowds are gathered, and the disciples are concerned they have nothing to eat. He feeds them with the bread, the loaves of bread and the fish. They are satisfied and there's even leftovers. They are appreciative of what God has provided for them 
in their need. In both circumstances, we could probably see in our lives where we are grateful, like the people in uh, Jesus' time, for all that God has given to us. And I'm not just talking about food. I'm talking about the other gifts that he has blessed us with in our lives. There are also times where we grumble like the Israelites because we do not have what we want. We think that we need more and we're just totally unsatisfied. We're dissatisfied with what God has provided for us. In this Eucharist, he provides us with bread and wine that become his body and blood. We need to be grateful for the gift that he gives to us. Be satisfied by receiving the body and blood of Jesus himself. Let us pray that all members of the church may be bold and wise in spreading the gospel message. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, <laughs> That the Spirit of the Lord may be upon all people of the world, bringing them to belief in the gospel and the message of salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, <laughs> that all who hunger may find satisfaction through God's generosity and grace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all of us gathered in this holy place may be led by the voice of God in all we say and do. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who have died in the light of faith may soon rest in the eternal light and love of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, we ask you to accept these prayers and answer them according to your holy will, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. And pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your praise, for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the laws of His holy church. Receive, Holy Father, the offerings we bring in commemoration of the holy martyrs, and grant that we, your servants, may be found steadfast in confessing your name through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give ardor to their faith. In their endurance you grant them resolve. 
and in their struggle the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song of salvation, and we with all the host of angels cry out, and without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Daniel our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, 
graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that he should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. It is you who have stood by me in my troubles, and I confer a kingdom on you, says the Lord, that you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom. At this time, we invite you to join in a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already here and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, in your holy martyrs, St. Sixtus and companions, who have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross, graciously grant that drawing strength from this sacrifice, we may cling faithfully to Christ and labor in the church for the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. St. Michael, be our angel, defend us in battle, be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God give you him the only pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into thou Satan and all the evil spirits who proud.